Michael Wiseman here, Wrestling Inc., with formerly known as Darren Young, Fred Rosser. Mr. Uh, no Days Off. Baby. Mr. No Days yeah. Off. Mr. No Days Off here at WrestleCade this weekend, a fantastic event. Um, let, let's talk a little bit about this championship belt you have over here. I just want to jump in real quick with this. Yeah, from Headquarters Clothing. It's a brand I work with in Sherman Oaks, a uh, brand having to do with success, and I've been loyal to them for so long that they got this Block 8 Legacy Championship belt uh, for me for my birthday. So moving forward, when I go to appearances, I bring it with me and share it with the world because in crazy times like this, we need to block the hate. So what, what does this championship mean to you personally? It means a lot to me because I always say my fight is much more bigger than in the ring. It's outside of the ring fighting bigotry and hatred. I'm trying to be the voice of the voiceless when it comes to our LGBT community. So someone's got to be that superhero, and I'm going to be that superhero. So you seem to really embrace that role. I mean, you were the first openly gay wrestler for a major wrestling promotion um, here in America. Uh, how does it feel to kind of hold that torch and be the first one to kind of blaze that path? Well, I'm not the first one, and I'm definitely not the last one, you know. I was the first openly gay WWE right, superstar, right. so to be under contract. But yes. Pat well, obviously, lots of other yeah. uh, amazing wrestlers who come before you have been openly gay, but maybe not while under contract. Exactly, but the bottom line is we need more representation. We need more out athletes standing up for what's right, bigotry and hatred, because in crazy times like this, uh, we need to have each other's back. And I always say none of us are as strong as all of us. Absolutely. And so what would you say to young kids right now, no matter the sexual orientation, who are aspiring to get and do what you've done? You've been on the biggest pay-per-views. You've done it all with the biggest companies. Uh, to take care of your body. If you want to get in this business, take care of your body, stretch, learn different languages, learn about different cultures, because WWE looks for well-rounded people. They don't look for just the all-American athlete. They look for if you can talk different languages. So it's good to have the total package. How would you advise kids who, you know, a lot of us have gone through that awkward phase, whether it's sexual orientation or just our personalities. How did you find your solace in saying, I'm going to stay true to my roots no matter what obstacles life threw my way? Well, I came out and I made a sacrifice. You know, I sacrificed my career so others can live their authentic self. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be that superhero no matter what, and I'm not going anywhere. So what's keeping you busy these days? I know you're wrestling on the independent circle, obviously here at WrestleCade. What is next on the docket for you in your professional career? Well, continue to wrestle. I still have a lot left in the tank. Um, I do a lot of speaking engagements for the LGBT community, and I also work with the clothing brand, Headquarters Clothing. Uh, they're all on my social media. I'm always shouting them out. It's a brand that I truly believe in. Uh, they supported me. I love the quality and the message of the brand is why I love them so much. So I stay busy. That's why I'm Mr. No Days Off. That's right. Well, you have a, definitely have a huge social media following. Where can people keep up with you if they want to stay in touch? On my social media, at Real Fred Rosser, Twitter, Instagram, uh, my website, realfredrosser.com. So I'm still very, very social. Can you hold up the belt one more time for us? It's beautiful. Love it. Right here, baby. Block the hate. Spread the word. Spread the numbers all day, every day, baby.